Good afternoon. Hello. Hey. Hey, hey Kevin here. Yeah. Hey, Kevin Arjun, how are you guys doing? Hey, not too bad. How about yourself? Doing well, doing well. Yeah, pretty good here, thank you. Good. I think Kurt should be joining us and Nicholas should go too. Oh, awesome. So I did get your email late last night about being able to go back and uh, turn back on the funnel. Which is fantastic. Yeah, like a, a different, um, the experience funnel. That's one of the two funnels we're hoping to run. Um, the second one, we're still, um, so Kevin's spotted some awesome stuff with the, um, like, so that's one of the things we we're hoping to discuss today, um, the, the email deliverability thing. Um, so Kev's in charge of the, um, the email deliverability thing. Um, so it's his call on like, from our company about like the the email stuff. Um, but Kevin's found like some issues and stuff, um, and was keen to get Kev on this call to discuss and like um, yeah, for us to like work out the solution for moving forward with the funnel. <clears throat> so I know that Nick and Kurt have said they dealt with some of the stuff in the past, and I'm sure they get some recommendations and how to move forward quickly with it. So it looks like both of them now joined us. Yeah, I'm here. What, uh, what, what, what kind of delivery, um, I mean, what are, I guess, what are the delivery issues or what are, what are your open rates? Um, so, um, we did have, um, this funnel email from Entreport, which we're looking to migrate off of anyway, because it's, um, very poor in terms of cost effectiveness because it scales up to the size of this that we're dealing with. Right. So, um, so we're moving all of our email stuff onto GetResponse 360, where we're going to have our own dedicated IP and essentially manage our own deliverability. Okay. We've got an independent consultant helping us with that. Um, our GetResponse account setup um, finally finished um, in the last week this morning, and I've got a call with them later today. Um, but essentially, on port, we're using like a shared IP with a billion, billion other on port users, and everything sending was going to um, promotions. spam in some cases, but mostly to um, promotions on the Gmail. What, do you know what your, what your open rate was? Uh, I do not know that offhand for Entreport, no. Just, just we had Entreport forever. Yeah the, yeah, the the research I was doing though with with the Gmail promotions mm -hmm. folders, like something like less than fifteen percent of Gmail users actually open Gmail in Gmail. So, like if you're using your phone or Apple Mail or any of these other things, all of the stuff that would be going to promotions is ultimately being delivered to your inbox. So, it's it's actually a very small percentage are actually not seeing that. We get we we've had Entreport for I don't know six years. And we consistently see like a 30, 35% open rate to a pretty stagnant list. So if you were seeing something significantly different than that, then I would say, yeah, there, there are definitely issues. But I, I'd be curious if you get that much of a, a lift by switching over to get response. But, uh, you know, it's, it's all worth testing for sure. I mean, uh, we were, we're making the get response uh, transition anyway, simply because of um, cost scaling. Entreport scales very poorly for mass emailing. Agreed. Uh, yep. And we send uh, uh, you know, a lot of emails. Yeah. So that was happening irrespective. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can find some deliverability stats. Um, I use so many mail platforms. I'm not sure yeah. quite to look. Um, Are you guys still there or did I lose you? Yeah, yeah we're, no, we're still here. Sorry. I think Kevin's just looking up stats for the email deliverability <laughs> stuff.
Uh, I'm not going to be able to find this at a minute's notice if I need to. Uh... Don't worry. It was more curiosity than anything. I'd love to hear kind of the results after things get moved over and, and you know, if there's a pretty significant lift um, based on just platforms. But I know that shared IP thing is a big issue with a lot of, a lot of people. And I've heard people complaining about Entreport Mail for since we started. So uh, definitely, definitely you're not alone there. Cool. Um, for the experience panel just now, um, I've, so the action ethics thing didn't, so Nora came up with a thing, um, the action ethics, there's a function we need in action ethics that isn't working, um, so I just linked everything in through Entreport. Um, I think we've still got Entreport active for the next 20 days, um, is that okay? As I understand, like, the emails isn't, like, a super important part of the experience funnel, where it's just the experience, nothing else. Um, like that, just about right. getting applications and seeing if we can get Jane to sell someone at like a thousand dollar ticket. So we have, I know, Steve, are you there? Yeah. So I know that, that recently Adam had posted some videos on Psychology Hacker for live events the or kind of around the, the experience. Yep. Yeah. So we, so we can run those. We have, uh, Steve, do you want, uh, actually here, I can just share my screen, that's fine. Um, hang on one second. I'm going to pull up the links that you sent us. All right, now let me go ahead and share my screen. So this was very slightly different to the one we were running from our Psychology Hacker page. This just got an email capture um, on the first page to allow us to retarget people easier. Yep, like so emails. we have, let's take a look at this show real quick. Uh, this just loads real slow. Wait a second. So this is great. So Steve, we're going to run people directly to the experience page. It looks like we have to have a pixel inserted in there, Facebook pixel. Oh, nope, they're in there. Oh. They just loaded late. Great. Yeah. <laughs> So I've got, okay. oh, I, sorry, I forgot to mention, for the retargeting pixels on here, I've had to go at creating um, custom pixels. So I've called it um, 30 second underscore landing page and 45 second underscore landing page, which gets triggered in, I think it'll be about 10, 50, yeah, there it goes. Um, is that okay to call it that as the event name? Sorry, there, I think there are three different things that you just asked me. So oh. <laughs> can I again for me? Um, I've called the third, the Pixel it fires at 30 seconds after someone's been on the landing page for 30 seconds. I've called it 30 second landing page. I've created like a new name, a custom name. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah, it should, I mean, it should be fine. Then you have 45 seconds for the landing page. So you have, yeah. you have four different pixels on you? No, you have. Um, the microdata well, wasn't me. I don't. The conversion so pixel isn't pixel me, and the your... microdata isn't me. Okay, so somebody has to remove the conversion pixel from the page. Oh, okay. So that's a pixel that's on the page. The word says conversion pixel. Yes, that's an old conversion pixel. So that needs to be removed from ah. the page. Oh, okay. So is that something I've put on without meaning to then? It looks like someone added track 30 second underscore landing underscore page. Yeah, that was me. Um, so the event I'll go back through and yeah, yeah, because you don't want the conversion pixel set up on a, I don't get like, because you don't want to, like, because otherwise what you're basically saying is you're like, hey, Facebook, someone's a conversion after 60 seconds or 30 uh, seconds. Fuck yeah, no, they're not a conversion. Yeah. They're, a, they're a landing on the page. I don't want any way to fucking think that's a conversion. Yeah, so no, that sorry. Yeah, that's, that's definitely an error on my part. Sorry. Yeah, take that out of there. All right, so we have that. So that makes sense. And then we go over to the next page, apply for the experience. So they're going to apply for the experience, and then once they've applied, and on the thank you page right here, this will have complete registration. What is all this stuff? There's Other a conversion stuff. pixel on here. There's a Facebook pixel on here. Then there's a second Facebook pixel on here that says completed registration. Do you have any idea what the first two pixels are? Um, I don't. I'll go back through and... Through. Yeah, take out um, anything that's not six that does not end in six four nine. Everything else should be uh, taken out. Okay, awesome. Thanks. I, yeah, I yeah. I don't remember putting them in. I must have done it by accident somehow. Um, bad Ozen. Back to it. Thanks. Bad Ozen. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Uh, so that's fine. 
And it also shows on this page, the Facebook pixel, the 649, it Mike, shows it, that load time is, is 68 seconds. So we want to make sure that there's no, like, like, here, like, here's the, like here's the deal, I'm just gonna be very transparent with you. Like having a load time for a pixel of 30 seconds, 45 seconds, like all that fucking shit is really good when you have 10,000 clicks. It's a clusterfuck uh, when we have under 100 clicks. So like oh, I okay. appreciate that you want to move with technology, but we're fucking ourselves in this little shit. And here's why. Because you have the pixel time to delay to delay 45 seconds when they get to the sales page. When they get to the sales page, we want to know that they're a sale right away when they get to the sales page. So by adding all this little stuff, we're going to create more work, which is like fine, but it's just, just FYI, the more that we fuck with shit, the more that shit's going to get fucked up. Uh, I guess that's okay, the best yeah, way to say it. Right? Yeah. So, 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 right, so don't have a delay pixel on the home page. That's dumb unless we have 10,000 clicks. Don't do a delay pixel on the confirmation page. Let's just get traffic to the pages and see what happens and then worry about the delayed shit. Love that. Thanks, Kurt. Does that make sense? Yeah, sorry. I get really emotional about this because all I want to do is run traffic. Please be emotional about it. <laughs> it's kind of hard. I like how it. you really feel. Yeah, it's uh, hard. I like it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know any other way to be because I've never really been. If you don't want money, could you please do me a favor? That doesn't pay the fucking bills. We got payroll to hit. <laughs> See, this is why I like Kurt, Arjun. <laughs> uh, Adam, you would love this. My last call, I was talking to these guys from Shark Tank. It's going to be our third or fourth client from Shark Tank. And yeah. they're like, but everything you talk about sounds really complicated. It's going to take you a lot of time. I don't know, Kurt, if you're going to have time to do this. I'm like, I really appreciate that. That's really cute for you to say that. I've been doing this for a very long time. I know the exact buttons to hit or push. But, and I'll tell you one other thing. I'm really fucking good. It's all right. I'll just tell you what buttons to push. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, right. My, my child okay. is being murdered in the background. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. You, you, you live out on a murder ranch. I understand. I, you're, yeah, you know, more you're making so many of them nowadays. It really doesn't matter, does it? No, not at all. What's that? Yeah. At the end of the day, what I want to be able to do is to start running traffic and then start thin slicing. The other technology pieces can just take us a long time to get to it. So, okay, so this all makes sense right here. So, uh, like I said, remove the time off stuff, so that's fine. Go back to the Psychology Hacker homepage. Actually, okay, so quick question. Right here, congratulations, you received your application. Um, one thing you may... Hey. Oh, sorry, my you internet want to do before. Add, that's okay. One thing you may want to do, Adam, is on the thank you page of congratulations. Mm -hmm. We've received your application. In my opinion, if it was you with a video right here, setting expectations, I think that's great. Yep, I can do that. I'll just script that out. I'll film it like ASAP. Awesome. And then, and then sending people back to your homepage is great to find more information, but do you want them to go back? Do you want to... Is, so you're going to precondition them once they've now filled out the form. Do you want to send people into, hey, while you're here, I have a free training for you and send them through uh, the oh, Psychology like Hacker seven-day training? That's or, what I want to do. Uh, okay. Awesome. I'll make okay. it happen. Yeah, I, I, what I would hear you say, and, and this is why we record these, but Arjun, uh, or I know, I think Vince is on the phone too. He can take a note on this. Um, but basically, here's what I'm looking for, the theme overall to be. Right? I can always argue to hear Adam's voice in, in my head. Great. So happy you're here. Very few people make it this far because you believe in yourself. You've at least gotten this far. Great. Now, one of the worst things that I can do is to give you some action and some hope, but not give you anything to work on to move you forward. What, mo what many of my most successful students have done have overlearned how to overcome this one thing to hold so many people back. This one single thing. What is that? Procrastination. Lots of people like to laugh, but there's this small little trick, these small little mental tricks, these small little triggers that can really move you forward. So I want to make sure that I'm doing my part to always move you forward. Click on the link below. You get a seven day procrastination series. This is something so easy that you can implement, but it'll help you to start taking action before one of my representatives call you about the application that you just filled out. That's basically the speech. Arjun, did you get that? Awesome. Yep, I, I haven't got notes and everything there because my computer just crashed. Um, well, I've got the recording. I've got notes. What I've oh, got awesome. Is, I'm glad you made it this far. Not a lot of people get this far. The worst thing I can do is give you action items and hope and nothing to move you forward. 
Most students yep. get hung up on this one single thing. That single thing is procrastination. But this small little trick made up of little triggers, blah, blah, blah. My part, movie for uh, seven day procrastination series, help you start taking action before the rep calls you. Oh, Kev, yeah. could you possibly send me a copy of that, please? Um, that is in your Skype chat window already, Arthur. Awesome. Thanks, Kev. <laughs> Fuck, what happened to Kev? Amazing. <laughs> That yeah, sounded terrific, and I was like, oh, we should have fucking notes of that. That sounds good. <laughs> Perfect. So, okay, so we have that, so that'll work. Um, and then we're going to use some of your other videos. And then have you, and you may have already done this, I haven't seen this. Have you recorded a two to three minute video directly that talks about just the experience, just for an ad? I don't believe so. Kev, Arjun? No, um, I'll, I'll write it a script and. and um, yeah, so, and it's so real quick. Um, so what we what we notice a lot of our other clients is we're going to run some of the other videos that you've already been posting about the experience. We'll run some um, some image ads. We're still going to write some longer copy based off of what you have on the landing page here. But what we found is if we run these like videos that you've done about the experience for crash nation, let's say three, four, five minutes, whatever, is we retarget those acquisition video views. So first time eyeballs, we retarget those with a two to three minute video that's very structured. That's from you. Right. Hey, I'm really glad you've been checking out the psychology hacker. I've noticed you probably watched a couple of videos. Maybe you went to my website or maybe you checked out the CN page. Now, let me tell you about one of the most important things that I've ever done in life from our students. I've coached a lot of people over the years. Now, I've used some of your kind of titles, right? Yeah. I've coached 5,000 people. I've even had one of my favorite stories when I first met you. I've even had people pay me over $100,000 a year to give them language, body language, and even dating advice. Heck, this is the line that you used a long time ago. You're like, heck. Some of these guys will pay hundreds of thousands of dollars a year to get their boat clean, but they don't know how to talk to someone of the opposite sex. Yeah. Like that's huge. Right. And then I have these experiences. Now I can tell you a lot from a video on Facebook. I can even show you through some of our digital courses, but when you show up and for the day you become for two days, you become a superhero and we really dive into and you talk a little about your experience. This is something that unequivocally will change your life and move you forward. If you have a couple of testimonials, two or three, you can stream together at the end. But it's basically Adam, you kind of telling, talking about what this is, and say, look, this is the most, one of the most profound things that I've ever done, and I can really move people forward. And this is where my students have said they've seen the most change. I highly encourage you to check out the video on the next page, and if it compels you, fill out the application. Very few get through, but at least watch the video on the next page. This could be one of those live events that unequivocally just change your life forever. That's it. I would. Ooh, actually, Adam, here's an idea. Yep. Again, just if you have time. So uh, you have your, you got the Maserati that's outside, right? Yep. <laughs> and um, one of the stories that I like about you personally, and I always tell people that it's, it's hard to obviously edify to yourselves, but the way that I see you that I love the story is, uh, you know, many years ago, I, I was a janitor, very interesting. And like, I can see this um, in a video of you walking kind of your property, walking past your car. Oh, you know, I wrote I a story happened. similar that uh, there's right. like an emotional story selling video I wrote that like converted quite well for us when we moved it on like the page. Could we take elements of that? Yes, 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 yes. Because here's what I'm looking for. Here's the story that I just love. Hey, everybody. My name is Adam Lyons. You may have seen some of my videos before from Psychology Hacker, or maybe you've seen some of my videos online. I've been online or marketing for many, uh, for many, 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 many years. But I'll tell you, I never thought I'd be in the position that I'm at today. Today, I'm fortunate enough where I was able to buy a, whatever it is, you know, a 15-acre compound. I would like to say the word compound or estate um, right outside of Austin, Texas. This is where I've grown my family. This is where we build multiple buildings, my business. We have animals. We literally have our own place. And it's not a small little house that's over. It's really my dream. I now bring in students. I've been coaching. And it's just talking not necessarily about you, but what you've been able to accomplish because you've applied these techniques, which I know you have something like this. And it's just, hey, I'd love to be able to spend time with you personally. You know, it's one thing to watch a bunch of videos. It's great. It's one thing to do training on your own. But the immersion experience, when you spend time with me, when you spend time with my family, when you spend time with the people that work with me that I surround myself with, this is where we see the biggest change happen. And this is one of the biggest changes that happens for me. And I talk about a live experience that you've gone to. You know, that was one of the biggest shifts for me. When I could see like, hey, let's walk my property. You don't have to show off your car but you kind of walk by your car. I can see you walking outside instead of the other buildings. Hey, let's just have a quick conversation. Never thought my life would be this way. And I'd love to meet you personally. I'd love to meet you and go through the experience. 
<laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I fucking love it, dude. Okay, can, I just, That's good. can I just speak out quickly? So you've given us three separate video scripts here. Um, uh -huh. Yep. Um, the first one was, glad you made that this far, not many people do. Worst thing I can do is get actually nothing moving yep. forward. Most students, procrastination, small little tricks, small triggers. My part moving forward, seven-day procrastination series. Help you start That's talking. Thank you, Paige. That calls you. So that video, yep. you, want, you want where? On the thank you page, once they fill out the application. It's setting expectations and giving them next steps. Okay. Then the next one after that, I've got... Thanks for checking out. Let me tell you the most important thing. I taught a lot of people over the years. Some pay over $100,000 a year. Body language, even dating advice. I think the opposite sex. Yep. Um, that video is going to be run on Facebook. What's that? That wants to do what, sorry? That, one, that video is going to run on Facebook as a Facebook ad. It will have a link that goes back to the landing page for the experience. Okay. And then there's the one you just gave us last, which is never thought I'd be in a position now today. 40 acre compound slash estate right outside Austin, Texas. Family, business, animals are in place, car, etc. Not a small house, really my dream. Oh. Um, student yeah. boy, I'd love to meet you personally and go through experience. Where's that one going? That one is also going to be advertised on Facebook in the news feed, and it's going to have a call to action, uh, which Adam will say in the video too. I highly encourage you to watch the video on the next page and fill out the application if you feel compelled. There's a bit, you know, very few that get through. So that would be an advertisement in the news feed directing people back to the uh, experience page. Okay, got it. And then Steve's also gonna do some long form sales copy based off those videos with an image ad, um, which will help drive it. Because what we're looking for is Ideally, we're looking for obviously highly qualified, low cost, clicks, low cost clicks that go to the page. So we will have let people go to the experience page. But then the question is, um, do we retarget that traffic? Because like the procrastination series, like the lead cost is just kind of high and it didn't really close. Do we retarget people who don't fill out the app with additional content? Do you want them to go into additional opt-in? And I just, let's just say 3% of people fill out the app, hypothetically. What would we retarget the other 97% on? We'll give them a little bit of content, but that's only about 20% of the budget, 15% of the budget. Are there I mean, any my, other opt-in pages you'd like to send people to? My idea would be the, uh, the free ebook. Oh, great. What's the free ebook? So it's, that's, that, that's the one that's reliant on email deliverability. Um, ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's one I point to. I mean, to that should be any opt-in opt will need email deliverability, though, you know. So we can retarget for that book, so that will work great. Um, okay, so we can retarget for the book. We can, um, and when do you feel that the, the email stuff will be taken care of or at least switched over? Um, next few days. Okay. Okay, so that's not a problem. Our GR360 account is configured. The IPs are set. I've got a call with them in like half an hour. Okay. So it should be running within so the next couple of days. Okay. So you, okay, so we can at least get some ad, some initial ads started from the creators awesome. that we just talked about. Just to, just to at least get some trickle. We'll create some ads. You know, we always upload ads on Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, uh, we'll, Steve, I'll let you speak on that part of getting on the production schedule. What I see, there's a couple of uh, videos that Adam already has from Psychology Hacker that we can run towards this. We'll create some image ads that will run towards this. And then that'll already be building up your step two warm audience. So when you're ready with any other opt-in, ebook, stuff like that, um, we can definitely retarget. And then one kind of off the wall question, um, not required, just curious. Adam, you've sold this experience through, um, obviously the sales page here for the strategy session. Um, what about webinars? Have you ever done a webinar for the experience? Um, we have in the past. It didn't convert very well. I don't think we've done okay. one for the experience, have we? And certainly not to this funnel. Definitely not to this funnel. Okay. Okay. I'm open. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of like, you know, an, a, a, like an opt-in ebook. Wow, we can get two to five dollar leads. Could could be a dollar. Could be six. Right, and then those will go through the funnel. But the experience, we're going to have a lower take rate, we know. So I'm trying to always think of, 
what else do I retarget that I can monetize on as we're dialing in the experience? Experience is going to pay you well, but it could take a while to kind of really dial that one in. So what else could I get that's like, you know, two or three dollar leads? Um, We've got, there was one um there's one webinar we did where when we turned that into like a live talk the live talk converted really really well um meaning live talk from stage or recorded yeah. live talk recorded as a video um live talk from stage yeah the problem is is adam's too good looking and he has that european <laughs> accent thing and then he has this thing of like where he charms people and then they just want to give him money so that's very different from live from video but that's just what uh, okay happens. Uh, yeah, he's like, "Hi, how are you? Would you like to give me your money?" People are like, "Yes." <laughs> I don't know why, but yes. I'm like, "How do you do that?" <laughs> Pretty much how it goes. I know you guys have seen it before. I have, <laughs> right? Or girls. Hi, my name's Adam. They're like, "Oh, he's so amazing. He just said his name." Hi. <laughs> um, I like that super power. <laughs> Um, okay, so the only other thing I, I, I'll give you just one other thought is I would think about what is there, uh, is there another opt-in that we can give people just for retargeting? So along the same lines of the experience, you're going to have that opt-in for the book or the ebook. Is there anything else that you may have that you've used in the past that you don't have to recreate? They could give somebody a reason to opt in to find out a little bit more about something that works, that relates very well with the live experience. Do you have anything like that? Um, uh, I'm just flicking through. Nothing built that I know of. The income instincts videos would be the next best thing to do, in my opinion. Or the free diary giveaway, which isn't done yet either. Yeah, I can't yeah. Both done. of those are great material, but neither of those are built. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because one of the things that we're finding is like, it, we'll talk more about this later because I just want to start testing this stuff, is uh, the many chat messages. Uh, like right now, I'm getting 50 cent leads with another client, which is like someone's like, hey, if you'd like to find out more, just go ahead and you know, cl uh, just click this link, which now automatically adds people in the many chat, and then they move on to the next step. So we may think of a, creative, a really easy creative opt-in that doesn't require an opt-in page. They would just message in the many chat. We'd send them a link that would then give you a video or send them to a the next page. I'll think about that, but at least that would give us really inexpensive leads that we can follow up with over and over while we're working on conversions versus, hey, we ran traffic, got uh, you know, 300 clicks. They didn't buy, stop traffic. Uh, at least we can send follow-up emails to you know, many chat over and over and over to get those people to close. The, the numbers um, you, you showed us before in many chat look absolutely amazing and everything you've sent across so far about many chat I've implemented like all the training stuff um, I think you guys sent across like how to set stuff and everything um, I don't think we've gone through like the like messages and the sequences um, yeah that's it. what I'm really looking forward to at the end of the day is this super simple which is hey I've always been let's just say out of another video talking about experiences right so we said, hey, if you're ever curious about one of our, if you want to see our special video we put together for our live experience, all you have to do is just click on the link of this message, and I'm going to deliver the video directly to your Facebook Messenger. Actually, we could probably just do that. I guess I could just do that. So what happens is they click on the link, they go into Messenger. The very first message is like, hey, you want to see my video? Click on the link, then take them to the video. But because they clicked on the link to go inside of ManyChat, now we can contact them. I don't have to set up a follow-up <laughs> sequence or some special email sequence. They just click once, and then we're like, hey, Adam, did you get any applications last week? No? Shit. Well, we got 300 mini chat. Okay, what are we going to do now? I don't know. Record something in your fucking, in your foreigner voice that says something sexy and important. <laughs> and then let's, eat, let's blast them out. But now we have a chance to follow up with people over and over and over, but, it's, but I couldn't necessarily with paid ads. So that's what I'm looking to do. With that first message that I can get somebody in, so as we figure out conversions, we can just have Adam send them you know, videos or voice messages or self pictures, like whatever helps move people. <laughs> so we'll work on that. Okay. Awesome. I love it guys. All right. Um, can I really quickly ask about the conversion pics that was appearing in the page? Um, I'll try and dig through and figure out like what's happening. If I can't figure it out, can I reach out to you guys and ask? Um, like I'm just quickly yeah, looking yeah. through now and I can't find anywhere where I've Created anything that's a conversion pixel. Um, I'll dig back through yeah, and check. With that. Yeah, awesome. Thanks so much. For sure. Thanks.
Arjun, what, uh, what domain is this on? Um, training.psychologyhacker.com is, uh, Has this got anything to do with um, uh, WordPress on any level? No, 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 all through ClickFunnels. It's, well, it's through Google Tag Manager. All the tracking, I'm pretty sure, was through Google Tag Manager. Um, Does ClickFunnels have any like, global settings about setting tags throughout all your shit? Yeah, I think like for the, the the normal pixels, like that would make sense. For the conversion pixels, like I would be surprised if ClickFunnels put a conversion pixel on. Like I mean, I don't know, but like um, I'll double check through everything of of like everything I've done. And... Can't find an obvious answer. Hit up ClickFunnels support as well as uh, as well as these guys. Uh oh yeah, awesome. Thanks. Okay. Okay, everybody good? I'm good. Everybody else good? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, could you guys possibly pop through a recording of this? Because you had like the, the awesome structures and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Awesome. Thanks so much. Cheers. All right. That's okay. perfect. See you guys. Right. Awesome. Um, so, thank you, dude. Thank you so much. Yeah. Can, I just check, um, the, uh, can I just check? Can I just really quick check the action items to uh, take away? Um, so I need to go through the tracking and um, figure out the conversion pixel thing. I need to draft up three... Um, I need to draft up three videos um, from the the, the awesome structures um, you guys made, and I need to pop them through to Adam and get them recorded, and then pop you guys through the, the links to the videos. Exactly. Yep. Awesome. Yep. Brilliant. Perfect. Awesome. <laughs> All right, let's rock and roll this thing. I appreciate you guys. Thank you very, very much. Cheers. Brilliant. Thanks so much.